Good morning, everybody. You guys are watching Bet Flips. I am Sean. We are back at it. It is July 16th. Had another good day yesterday. So we're continuing our bounce back trend. 2 0 yesterday. We had the Reds and the Cardinals. They got over 8.5. And, and then the Giants game was over 7 as well. And uh, just, just a good, good day. So we're going to be trying to add to that today. We have four plays for you. Um, a bunch of them start early in the afternoon, so you want to make sure you get these picks in as soon as you can. And we're going to jump right into it. We've got the New York Mets against the Cubs. They had a postponed game yesterday. And yesterday, I was really leaning on the Cubs. They have this weird, weird trend I've talked about in the past where Friday afternoons at Wrigley, for some reason, the Cubs just win. But it got rained out and... Taiwan Walker is facing Stroman. I really, really like the Mets in Taiwan Walker. So uh, just looking at that line, I couldn't lay off picking the Mets on this one on the money line at minus 130. Then we're going to go to St. Louis. They're playing Cincinnati again. It's Miles Michaelis against um, Lodolos or Lodolo, I think is how you say his name. He's a, a newer pitcher. Um, the Reds that the Cardinals beat the Reds last night, seven to four, but if you saw it, it was a close game. Uh, Helsley had to come in to save the ninth with the bases loaded um, and the tying run at the plate, and then he gave up a deep, deep fly ball to the warning track, but he was able to shut the door. I like Miles Michaelis. His track record this year has been absolutely amazing, minus uh, the run support, so hopefully the offense comes alive this afternoon for Michaelis and can support them and get the win. We're taking the Cardinals on the run line at minus one and a half at plus 118. Then we're going to Texas and Texas is playing Seattle. Seattle's won 12 in a row. They've looked absolutely amazing. I think uh, this has a chance to be a trap line for Seattle. So we're jumping on Texas. Their uh, money line is sitting at plus 132. It's Gilbert against Howard, and I, I like the Rangers to steal a game and, and break this streak for Seattle. And then uh, our final game is going to be a heavy line. It's minus 360. We're taking the Astros and Verlander on the money line, but they're playing Oakland. Oakland has been in a funk of late, and Verlander has proven time and again this year why he's a no doubt Hall of Fame pitcher, why he's continuing to be an all-star pitcher late into his 30s. I believe he's 39 and still just an amazing, amazing pitcher. And if Houston can have their bats come alive and support Verlander, I think they'll win this one no problem. So despite it being a minus 360, we really like this line. Those are our plays, everybody. If you guys like this information, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Drop a comment on your favorite game of the day. And as always, We'll see you tomorrow. Bet, flip, cash.